What's better than reading a book before falling asleep to review English? In today's video, we are reading an adaptation of The Little Prince. So, if you're a beginner, don't worry, you got this. Learn English with books and audiobooks. Thousands of English books with translation of every word. With Ewa, learning English is fun and easy. Hi everyone, my name is Marwa, aka Miss English Teacher. Welcome to the Eva channel. Here you can find everything you need to learn English. In today's video, we are reading together The Little Prince. Chapter 1 Hat I'm six years old. I see a nice picture. The picture is in a book. It's a picture of a big snake. The snake eats an animal. Here's the picture. The book says, snakes eat the whole animal and they sleep for six months. I think about the life in the forest. I make my first picture. This is my picture number one. I show my fantastic picture to one person and I ask this person, are you scared? This person answers, how can I be scared? It's a hat. My picture is not a picture of a hat. It is a picture of a big snake. An elephant is inside the snake. Then I make my picture number two. The picture shows the inside of the big snake. Now people understand. This is my picture number two. People tell me what they think. They tell me that it's not good to make pictures. They tell me that it's better to study geography, history, maths, and grammar. After these words, I don't want to make pictures. I don't want to make pictures because my picture number one and picture number two are not good for the people. People don't understand simple things. And now, I'm not a child. I'm a big person. I have a job. I'm a pilot. I fly planes. I fly in many countries. And it's true that geography is good for me. Geography can help me if I'm lost in the night. In my life, I work with people every day. People are often serious. Sometimes I meet a person who is a little normal. When I meet this person, I show him my picture number one. I always have this picture with me. I want to know if this person understands life. But the person always says, it's a hat. Then I never speak to this person about big snakes or forests or stars. And we speak about work, sport and family. And the person is happy. For him, I'm a normal man. I live alone. I don't know people for an open conversation. But one day, it all changes. I have an accident in the Sahara Desert. Something is broken in my plane. I have nobody in the plane with me. It's not easy to repair the plane alone. But I must do it. It's a question of life or death. I have water for only one week. Chapter 2 Sheep The first night I sleep on the sand. I'm a thousand miles from a land with people. I think that no people are around me. So I'm shocked when somebody speaks to me in the morning. I hear these words. Please, draw me a sheep. What? Draw me a sheep. I jump up and look around. And I see a little man. This is the picture of the little man. 
My picture is not very good. The original model is better. It's not my mistake. I know how to draw only two pictures. They are pictures of a snake from the outside and a snake from the inside. I look at this little man. I'm really surprised. Don't forget that I'm a thousand miles from a land with people. Something is very interesting. This little man is not tired. He's not hungry. He's not thirsty. He's not scared. By the way, guys, if you don't know any of these words like hungry, thirsty or scared, if you read this book on the Eva app, you will get two or three options at the same time. You can listen to the book, follow it, and every time there is a word that you don't know, you can click on it and find the definition and the translation into your language. He doesn't look lost in the middle of the desert, a thousand miles from a land with people. The little man says very slowly, please draw me a sheep. It's all very strange to me. I'm a thousand miles from a land with people. I'm in danger of death. But I take a pen and a paper from my pocket. I want to draw a picture. And I remember that I only know geography, history, maths and grammar. And I tell the little man that I don't know how to draw. He says, it's okay, draw me a sheep. But I don't know how to draw a sheep. So I draw him a picture, which I'm able to draw. It's a big snake from the outside. And I'm shocked when the little man says, no, I don't want an elephant inside a big snake. A big snake is a very dangerous animal. And an elephant is very big for me. Where I live, everything is very small. I need a sheep. Draw me a sheep. So I make this picture. The little man looks at the picture. Then he says, No, this sheep is ill. Make me another one. I draw another picture. My friend smiles at me. You must see it too. This is not a sheep. It's a ram. It has horns. So I make another picture. But this picture also isn't good. Mm. This sheep is old. I want a sheep which can live a long time. It's not easy for me. I don't have time for this. I must start my work on the plane. So I draw this picture. Can you guys guess what is he going to draw next? Do you think he would be able to draw a sheep? If you're curious about this, then you can keep on reading this book on the Eva app. Also, if you would like me to read more books for you, you can click on this link. Here I'm reading the book 1984 by George Orwell. So, Go ahead and click on the link.